Hello everyone, I'm very happy to share we've had a 10x improvement in the speed of US equities fundamental data on QuantConnect. Fundamental data is often used for finding value stocks by, bu by building factors or sorting and ranking assets in a universe uh, according to things like PE ratios or debt. So now you can do that and much, much faster. Before the data was really large and obtuse, and now I've been able to trim it down and, and really speed it up. So this should make your research process on QuantConnect much more efficient. In addition to that, we've taken this chance to improve some of the API to the fundamentals data stack as well. So now uh, you no longer need to use universe selections to access data. You can actually access data directly on every equities object. So if you've got an equity security, you can just go dot fundamentals and then you can go and access all of the normal fundamentals data underneath that property. In addition, we've created this sugar function, the fundamentals function, where you pass in the symbol object and you'll get the fundamental data back, even if you don't have a security object for it. So this is really cool because you can combine any universe that creates a symbol object with fundamentals. So you can chain those two universes together very, very easily. So for example, when you get a ETF constituents universe, it's an array of symbol objects that's presented to your filter function. You can take those 500 symbols and pass it into this fundamentals object and then do a second filter based on the fundamentals at that point in time. So in addition, one of the very popular requests was to be able to use our history API with fundamentals data. So we're happy to share that's also now finally possible. So you can see that here. Now you can use just a normal history API. You pass in the fundamental type and the symbol object and you'll get the historical data for that fundamental for that asset. So then you can do that for single assets like this, or if you pass in like this, you'll get the entire universe at that point in time. Um, this can be really useful for uh, looking at trends over time of the company's debt. Maybe you'll look back over the last couple of years and see if they're you know, paying down their debt. There's all sorts of really interesting things you can do. And finally, uh, we've taken this also as a chance to increase the number of delisted assets that we support. So we've got all of the historical assets. Um, so there's no survivorship bias in the data set at all. So as always, this works backwards compatible. Uh, all of your old algorithms will just work in research, backtest, optimization, live trading. And we're going to continue maintaining the old data set for the next couple of months. But we'd strongly encourage within the next couple of months to stop and then redeploy your algorithm. So a big thank you to the community. This was one of the features that they voted. So if you have a feature that you're particularly passionate about, come down to this vote for new features widget on the algorithm homepage. And you can see the list of uh, features that are pending and you can go and vote for, for those ones that are up next on, on the to-do list. So thank you very much and I uh, hope to see you in the community.